everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got three new exciting kits from Das Werk in 35th scale to share with you guys. A munition schlepper, a Pack 38 version 5 centimeter on that same munition schlepper. And sorry, don't ask me to try to pronounce how the name on this thing is. It's a crazy name. And also the new hardtop version of the Fawn L900. So these are all three are available now. And including in our store and on our website at andyshq.com. Really cool looking kits and I think you'll enjoy taking a look inside. So, let's get started. We're going to take a look at these brand new 35th scale kits from Das Werk and they are in cooperation with Musing Hobby and Musing Hobby uh, helped out making some of the molds and as you can see hopefully pretty quickly that they do share some of the the same parts because the lower chassis the running gear the tracks and all that are the same so if you look down here the munition schlepper or munitions carrier uh, from this point down is the same as this vehicle. The main difference being that they took that munitions carrier and then mounted a, a open top superstructure on this one with a 5 centimeter Pack 38. Which for early part of the war was not a terrible weapon obviously. Later in the war it was kind of wanting against some of the heavier equipment that was coming out. But uh, for, for early war, Pack 38, not too, too bad, especially on such a tiny little vehicle. I don't think you could probably get anything heavier on this vehicle without it, you know, completely bogging down. Now, obviously, these offer some great diorama potential, especially the munition schlepper even on its own, that if you have some early Panzer 3s or 4s and you want to put one of those alongside reloading the troops or even do a combo between the two of them right there. Now... Like I said earlier, there are some shared parts, and I'll point out to them, because we're going to tear into them one at a time, and then I will point out what is going to be in both kits. So, let's take a look inside. We'll start off first with the munition schlepper and the parts that come inside it. Start off with the, uh, this is technically the side of the hull, as well as the upper part of the hull. You can see right there. Next up, we have the lower part of the hull, as you can see inside there. And then we have all of the individual link of track all through in this section. And these, then it also has length of track in here as well. These two are it. We have our road wheels, drive sprocket, and idler. And these are all the suspension pieces right in through here, as well as some of the fenders and a few other little accessory parts on side of there. Now this particular sprue is shared in both kits as well as the upper part of the hull that we just showed you. So those two are similar or actually the same in both kits. You also, because that is not enough road wheels and track pieces, get this portion of the sprue repeated, the A part. And you can see it's the exact, exact piece just cut at that point right there so you get another one of those inside there and finally this is the portion that is different between the two kits so this is all of the upper superstructure that contains all of the ammo boxes for the munition schlepper and that is what this is right here some of the framework inside shovel you also get a set of decals with three different types of time period that you can put on those. And we'll zoom out a little bit here and then we'll show you the instructions as well. Now the instructions on this particular kit are pretty easy. There are only, let's see, four, uh, seven different uh, steps to put this one together and you can see how they've laid it out to go together as well as you get multiple different types of marking variation and that's why you'll need the different types of uh, iron crosses for the side here. Now we'll take a look at the 5 centimeter Pack 38 version of this vehicle. Very very quickly exact same sprues for the tracks and the lower part of the hull. The hull itself is the exact same sprue. 
And now we'll show you the parts that are different between the two kits. So right here we have our superstructure pieces. So we've got all the side shield armor, part of the cradle for the gun. Looks like a pair of seats for the inside there. And some of the other armor pieces for the, for the upper part of the superstructure. And then we'll get to this sprue here. This has our front gun shield, one piece, 38 centimeter barrel. And the muzzle brake is right here. It is slide molded. So that is one piece on that. And then you get all your other little accessories like this piece right here. This is the, the firing support for the rear of the vehicle. So it doesn't rock back too far. It's got all of the uh, knobs and levers and all that kind of stuff for the gun. This is part of the actual gun cradle. You can see, not too, too bad. Now, when we look at the instructions, you'll see quite a few more steps that we have to do. Remember in the other one, there was only seven steps. In this particular kit, because you're building a lot of the gun and the superstructure is a little bit more in depth, there's going to go all the way up to 14 steps on this one here. But Nothing very difficult at all. It's, I think it's all going to go together pretty pretty easily. And also you get a few different variations and markings on this one. So you can set it up with this uh, like cheetah pattern, just a regular German gray, a winter camouflage, or just the, the typical three color camouflage. And there is a quick look at the parts that make up both of these new kits. The munition slepper has a retail of $24.99. The 5cm uh, Pack 38 version of this vehicle has a retail of $27.50. And both of them are available now in our retail store, as well as our website, www.andyshhq.com. And we have a link down in the description. Next up, we have a new version of a kit that DOS Work came out with about uh, a year and a half, two years ago. And this is the Fawn L900 hardtop nine ton tank transporter. And this is different from, this is the original version of the kit. This is the L900. Now this one came with the trailer and this one had the soft top to it here. But there are a few other parts that are changed up between the two kits and I'm gonna show you all those right now. But because I actually built that one, I want to show you guys the size of this vehicle. So this is the original soft top version I built with the trailer a while ago. And I wanted to just to show you this to give you an idea of size because this is a massive, massive truck. In fact, we're going to push this one back slightly and we're going to put the uh, Tamiya Panzer IV in front of it. And you can see it is a beast of a vehicle. In fact, this was strong enough to carry in its uh, actual bed, either a Panzer 1 or 2 or some of the early martyrs, things like that, some of the lighter vehicles, and then it could carry that plus it also has the trailer, which is also available separately now, that you could put the trailer on the back of that and then tow another Panzer 1 or Panzer 2. So during the early parts of the war they were using those to just tow the, the smaller tanks all over the place. And now I'm just going to show you just the parts that differentiate between the hard top and the soft top version because they do give you some new wheels and a few other things and I'm going to show you those right now. Okay, first up we have the actual hard cab part of the new version. So we get our uh, firewall with our front windshield, the new hard top, and then the back wall of the vehicle plus new hard doors and door frames on there as well. And as you can imagine, with a new front windshield frame, you're going to get a new front windshield. As you can see right here, we've got the different glass pieces for all of that section. And you also get a new set of tires in this kit, as you can see here. And there are three sprues of this particular one. And of course, if you're going to get new tires, you're probably going to get new wheels too. And here are the inside hub of the wheel. And there's a look at the new parts that are inside the Fawn L900 hardtop transport truck. And the other nice part about having this now too is that you have the ability to buy just the truck part of this. Be up until now it was only available with the uh, the soft top and the trailer. The trailer is sold separately too so if you do want to do both this and the trailer together 
that that is an option as well too and these are also available right now and available on our website as well and one more thing I want to point out to you guys too that if you want to do an after war civilian version the decals are also inside this kit so there you go guys, there's a quick look at these three great kits. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that like button down below. And if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe and hit ring the bell. That way you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you guys as always for watching. And please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.